So on this week's episode of Mink in the Morning, I want to do something a little different. Instead of sharing from my life, I'm going to share a couple of stories from yours. I believe it's our responsibility as men to do better every day, to learn from our mistakes, grow through our failures, and work to become the best that we can be. One of my favorite parts of recording Mink in the Morning is getting your guys' messages. I truly love hearing your stories and your experiences and some of the things that you've worked through and overcame. And this week, rather than sharing some of my experiences, what I want to do is share a couple stories that I've heard from you guys. And when I say this is one of my favorite parts of Mink in the Morning, I'm not lying to you. In fact, let me prove it to you. So you guys have seen this in the background right on the shelf as part of the set. This is literally a couple of printouts from messages that brothers have sent in to us explaining how Live Bearded and Mink in the Morning has helped them really go through and grow through experiences in their lives. And I wanted to share this with you for two simple reasons. And I'll tell you what those are as soon as I share the messages with you. So the first one says, I know you're a really busy man, but I hope you have the time to read this. Throughout my entire life, I've been surrounded by people who have been negative and wished ill towards others. I've been knocked down and looked down upon many times, but that all changed when I was accepted into Live Bearded. For the first time, because of you guys, I started seeing my life and my glass as half full, and it was the positive atmosphere you and your team created that really helped bring new ideas and positivity into my life. So I just wanted to start by saying thank you. I've struggled with negativity and, and believing in myself a lot. And it has been this community that has helped me really see how much better I could be. I wish you guys nothing but the best. It's powerful. There's a brother out there struggling, you know, being around people that look down on him, that say negative things to him. And because of this environment, this community that we've created of supporting each other, he's been able to see through that. Really, really incredible. This next one says, I've struggled with self-acceptance my entire life. I was in law enforcement for 18 years and was hurt on the job, which led me to losing my job and a lot of my friends along with it. I have felt worthless much of my life and several times I've tried to go back to work, but those didn't last. Then five years ago, I lost my 14-year-old son in an ATV accident. We were riding together when we got in an accident and he hit his head and died. My parents told me I was a bad parent and it's my fault my, my child passed away. Wow, it's freaking, it's crazy. He says, I struggle daily with caring what other people think about me and putting too much weight on their ideas. I decided to grow my beard out in October 2017 because I wanted to try to feel good about myself. And then he goes on to say, what you guys are doing is way more than selling t-shirts or beard oils. You're making guys feel better about themselves and the things that they can accomplish. I'm a future customer and a stronger person because of your message. I'm an injured cop, disabled vet, and anything else I want to do next because of you guys. Thank you for the encouragement. It gives me goosebumps to read these messages, brothers. And I wanted to share these with you, not to impress you, not to share with you like, look how great we are, look at all that we've done, but to impress upon you that you are not alone. No matter where you're at in life, no matter what you're going through, I really believe that all of us as men, we're all a work in progress. We're all learning and growing through the challenges of life, striving to be the best that we can be. And I just, I want you to know that no matter where you are right now, no matter what you're struggling with, no matter what you're growing through, you're not alone. And there's men just like you and me that are going through the trenches of life. We're going through the adversity of it. And the key is to just not stop, to just keep going. You know, the, the other reason why I wanted to share these messages with you is because this is an example of a couple of men who did not settle. They didn't give up. They didn't allow life, no matter how much it beat them down, to keep them down. They said, I am going to rise above these challenges. I'm going to battle through these adversities and I'm going to do anything and everything that I can to get to a place where I feel whole, 
where I feel like my life is worthwhile. So brothers, my message to you today is this. Don't wish life was easier. Wish you were better. Both of these brothers never stopped learning. They never stopped growing. They've been looking and searching for lessons and and for sources of inspiration. And fortunately for me, I'm blessed to say that I've been a, a, a small piece of that. I've been able to light a little bit of fire or share a little bit of my experience. And that's actually led to some growth and some progress for them. But it doesn't have anything to do with me. It has everything to do with them on their search to be the best that they can be. So brothers, today go out and tomorrow and every day go out and find someone that you can look up to, someone that you can aspire to be like, someone that's going to encourage you, support you, motivate you, challenge you, push you. Find authors and mentors and books and videos and never, ever, ever stop growing. I said this before and I'm gonna say it again. Don't wish life was easier. Wish you were better and do whatever it takes to make yourself better. Commit to constant and never ending improvement. And I guarantee you, the results will be extraordinary. I'll see you guys next week.